if you're pumping blood retrograde into the circulatory system and into the aorta, how are you not causing pulmonary edema and high pulmonary artery pressures? Like, how is that not occurring? And, and that was like the beginning of me starting to question, how does this all work? And so um, let's start off with that. So you, are you actually pumping blood retrograde into the body? And, and the answer is yes, we, we are where you're taking it from the vein, you're putting it into an artery, you're establishing a pressure head, and you're perfusing all of the organs now at this point by building up that pressure. So you're restoring that mean arterial pressure with flow. And so you're increasing the flow into the aortic tree, and it's going out to all the end organs. And one of the benefits of that is the coronary arteries, which sit just outside the aortic valve, you're pressurizing those too. So if you had a heart that was super sick and just couldn't build up enough pressure, enough coronary perfusion pressure to get going, uh, after you put them on ECMO, you'll start to see that inotropy improve. You'll start to see the heart beating again. And so that was one of the first things that I had to wrap my head around is you're not actually pumping blood backwards through the heart. The aortic valve is, is supposed to stop that. That's supposed to create the closed circuit there. And you're hoping that native function returns because you are perfusing the coronary arteries that much. Is that your understanding as well? Yeah, exactly. And you bring up a great point, which actually is really interesting. If you ever had the opportunity to see a patient be placed on ECMO, uh, for whatever underlying cause it is, whether it's a pulmonary embolism or, or severe cardiogenic shock, um, or whatever, as soon as they place them on ECMO, everything seems to, uh, to settle down incredibly quickly in a number of cases, their pressure requirements decrease, um, their ventilator requirements decrease. They start removing CO2. Um, and it's really, really interesting to watch just how quickly that change happens once they're placed on pump. 